Hi, beautiful. Sometimes even I have bad hair days. We covered it up. I couldn't make it work. Anyways, we're watching some people do more wolf cuts. Wolf cuts are still everywhere. Everybody loves them. I love them. But today's video is focused on curly hair wolf cuts. Curls and wolf cuts, do they go? I don't know. It sounds intriguing, but horrifying. It's all the curls and then you snip it and it's like, what then happens? So let's find out if the wolf cut works for curly hair too. Up first, we have a video by Keisha Jabri. Today, I'm going to be trying the wolf cut. I found out about this trend on TikTok. Everybody on TikTok has been doing this trend. It come out good on some people. Other people, some people end up the videos crying. Well, hopefully it comes out good on you. That is so true, though. Some people, it comes out great. Some people, it's just like an absolute tragic mess. It's all about that technique, baby. First of all, I want to show you guys how long my hair is. It comes to like right above my butt. I'm not really afraid to cut anything off because as you guys know, I do have some damage in my hair. Um, my hair is a little bit wet right now. It has some conditioner in it. It's detangled and it's ready to go. <laughs> this is pretty much my problem area. And the thing I like about this cut, it seems to like get rid of a lot of this hair. Okay, yes, we have a lot of damage going on. You see her ends are like straight. We need to get rid of that. Like I cannot wait to see that go in the fucking trash. Like, boop. Bye. This is gonna be a great cut because it's gonna give her that rounded sort of look and it's gonna get rid of all that damage up here and over here and it's gonna add some volume to her hair. It's a little weighed down right now. She needs that volume. She needs those layers. She needs that sexy wolf cut moment. First thing that you gotta do, get a brush and you wanna flip your head and you just wanna brush it all to the front. I gotta say the wolf cut is so much harder on curly hair. Like brushing these curls out, getting it in the ponytail. It's a lot of work. One thing I will say is if you're gonna do this on curly hair, make sure you wash your hair right before. Put a lot of like leave-in conditioner in your hair so it's super smooth and easy to brush out. That way you have no tangles in your hair and the haircut comes out even. You wanna make sure it's all evenly brushed upward. <sighs> Okay. Here's a good tip too. The more forward you put it, the shorter your bangs are gonna be. When you're doing this haircut, you need to make sure that your hair is pulled forward really close to the front of your head. That's gonna make sure that you have that kind of like bang moment, but the layers are gonna be shorter in the front and longer in the back. That's kind of the downside of this haircut. It's not like foolproof. It's not like the best thing ever. It is pretty easy to do at home, but there are kind of like toss ups to doing it at home rather than getting it done. Like you're not gonna get even less all around and you'll probably see that later because you're over directing all this hair to the front this part in the back is gonna be the longest layers and these parts in the front are gonna be really short so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hair tie and I'm gonna secure it right at the top of my head I'm getting nervous like I hope she doesn't ruin her curls well I mean they're already pretty damaged but I just hope the haircuts like cuter than what she has and then you're supposed to take another one and you're gonna put it at the end of your hair like this this part always makes me laugh. Everybody always has a hair tie here and then a hair tie at the bottom. You don't need to put another hair tie. Just cut it where you want to cut it. The whole like hair tie at the bottom does nothing. I guess it's like used as a guide of where you're supposed to cut, but like, is that more useful than just like looking and cutting? I don't know. I don't really understand the second hair tie. I hope I'm doing this right, y'all. Like this. So I see a lot of people do this part wrong also. When you're putting this second hair tie in your hair, make sure your hair is still upward and not pull down here because what's gonna happen if you pull your hair down here when you put that second hair tie in you are adding even more length to the back and you're making the front of your hair even shorter you're over directing again so we want to avoid over directing again we want to get the most even layers all around possible so when your hair is up here put the hair tie in let it down and then cut okay and then you're gonna take some scissors and you're just gonna <laughs> like that she went for it. I love seeing dead ends be cut from hair. It's the most exciting thing ever. Okay, I cut some of it off. You take this out. I will say though, she definitely did not go short enough. With this cut, you have to take a lot of length off. Okay, it's not it's not looking too bad. It's looking more or less the same. And then you're supposed to do like half up, half down. You're supposed to do the same exact thing. Just brush it all forward. Now this is where the haircut gets a little shaky because everybody takes 
half of the hair up now and then cuts again but you're gonna get a disconnect between the longer hair and the shorter hair again this haircut is not foolproof definitely there's gonna be some flaws but I don't know if there's really a better easier way of doing it the last thing she did when she took all the hair up she should just cut it shorter it's not gonna get rid of too much length because the hair from the bottom is being over directed all the way up it really shouldn't get rid of much length even if she cuts it really short but this part might give her really disconnected really short weird layers that's gonna be like ah! Not cute. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Because it's a good idea. Would have been better if you got it professionally done, but it's a good idea. At least you're getting rid of that dead sh We don't want to see it anymore. I don't like that for you. And then you're supposed to take the scissors and cut again. Okay, we're gonna need to cut more than that. What is it looking like? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting a bit more volume, a bit more of this, a bit more roundedness, which I love to see, but I do see a little bit of disconnection going on with those layers. I'm actually liking like how I'm seeing the shape come together. And then you're supposed to take just this front area to cure it again. Okay, here's where she has to get rid of a lot of length because that damage goes up far. This is the cut that a lot of people be like oh, after they do it. And then you're supposed to cut one more time. And this is really Really where all my damage is but I don't care bye so how much I just cut I just did this it is no freaking going back do we like it or what It's looking a little wonky. We need to get rid of that like straggly bit on the ends. We need to shape it a little bit. She needs some bangs. There's a lot that needs to be done. I hope she's not stopping here. I like it, but my hair is so wet right now. I'm just afraid that when it dries, it's gonna be like this. So what I'm about to do is try to define my curls and then we gonna see what it look like for real for real. Cause I'm gonna dry it, I'm gonna diffuse it and everything and we gonna see like the final result. Okay, so she is going Going in and styling her hair and then she's gonna make like final edits to the cut after which I think is a good idea that way it doesn't become too short too quick so she's putting her creams and gels and whatever is she putting in her hair she's putting her curls in taking her time and then we're gonna see it dry and hopefully she fixes I feel like she's still gonna have those like really dead bits and I want them the gone I want them out of here Honestly though, girl, you need my wave products. I will be sending you the entire Wave Tech Wave system, all five of the products. You will get the most incredible amount of curl and wave in your hair with zero crunch with our WaveFlex technology built into every single product. That is our proprietary blend of ingredients that you can only get with Xmondo products. It even has the ability to bring people from a really light wave, like just like that, to serious waves with just these five products. It's unbelievable. You will literally have the most amazing waves ever and you will be so surprised at just how curly these products will make your hair. I cannot wait for you to try it. Okay, so y'all, this is what it's looking like. Oh! It was still kind of wet at the roots, but I just ran the blow dry over it. So now it's like a little bit more dry, but it's not 100% yet. I like it. Like I really do like it. It's just like these few straight pieces in the front, but it's like I don't want to cut it because I don't want my hair to be uneven. But I think I am going to snip the little pieces in the front. I'm just not going to go too crazy on the side because I'm not trying to look crazy. Cut the pieces. Girl, get them off. They're doing nothing for you and you can afford to lose those pieces. They're just there for no reason and I want them gone now. I'm gonna just take like this is just crazy like just straight hair like straight dead hair. Oh my god, I cannot believe that I'm actually doing this. Can I just go ahead and cut all of them? I'm thinking about cutting some inches off the bottom because I just feel like this just looks weird with these long pieces down here. The hair is just short up top. I completely agree with her. Those long pieces at the bottom, they need to go. Give us like a short round moment and cut all that damage off. It'll look so good. Like let's not hang on to that hair for no reason. You don't need it. You will look incredible with short hair. Like I wanna see those curls be healthy and sexy and hydrated. This is so cute. 
Shut up! The bang is not even that short. I just got it. I pull up my hair right here and it makes the bang look a little bit shorter. But it's very cute. Like, I love this so much. Y'all, she looks like a fuck rock star oh my god this haircut looks incredible on her this is the cut for you yes 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 it looks really good i'm so happy for you <laughs> up next we have a video by shasta life i have these we're gonna cut my hair i've never cut my hair by myself before i've always done it by a professional so this is gonna be like a first time okay okay <laughs> We got the kitchen scissors out. However, I think this is a great idea because her hair is weighed down. She has clearly wavy curly hair, but she has no layers. If you have curly hair, get some layers, you guys. It'll make it so much prettier. It'll decrease the weight so that your curls can actually show and stay and not get weighed down. And right now this haircut is doing nothing for her. So I hope I see her with like a bang, like a sort of bowl cutty type of thing. Kind of like when I switch it up from the cute blonde to you know the wolf cut that's everywhere the reason i want to try this is because my hair has been growing it looks like a triangle and i just want to add some texture and layers and a little bit of a better shape i think that's a great plan everyone does like one ponytail and they just do like a blunt cut in his video he does two ponytails and it does add a little bit more texture and layers or it just looks better, I don't know. This is such a better idea, doing two ponytails. That way you are getting layering back here. Cause otherwise, like I said before, if you pull everything forward, you're gonna not get much layering back here and it's all gonna be in the front of your head. She's getting her bangs and her short layers up here and she's getting stuff here too. She cuts it like towards the forehead, but I don't think I'm bold enough to go that short. Um, I think I'm gonna do like maybe to my nose. Don't know. Let me just secure this so I can see exactly where I should be cutting. Probably here. Everybody always does that where they pull the hair down and then they put the elastic in. What is with that? Upwards, guys. Upwards. When we put the second elastic in, or don't even put a second elastic in. Just pull your hair up and cut it. The second elastic does not need to be there for any reason. It's like the longest strand, I think. As long as it's not shorter than this, I think should be okay. Okay, she's slaying. She took out that strand in the back to make sure she's not cutting her length. That is totally something you guys can always do. Take that strand out, make sure you're not cutting it. You can cut as far down as you want as long as you're not cutting that length of your hair. Ooh, she's getting rid of a lot. I love to see it. Oh. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy sh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I love what it has done to the front, but I think I want a few more layers. So I'm just gonna like randomly chop off random pieces. Definitely did so. Something, something. What is this now? What was that technique? Because I don't remember that one. We don't have to always pull the hair up into ponytails. We can actually just direct the hair out from the head and kind of cut off that excess in a round sort of manner, right? So you're pulling the hair out and cutting, pulling the hair out and cutting, cutting, cutting. Imagine if you pulled all your hair out like this, it would make a big circle. Okay, that's the goal. Ouch. Why am I acting like it hurts? Ooh. Ooh. Chop chop. Oh! Just gonna go for it. <gasps> no! So much lighter. It was getting so freaking puffy. She just keeps on going. I don't even know what she's cutting at this point. She's just taking random pieces, not measuring anything to the same length as the other side, and then it's wild. Luckily, she has curly hair, so it's gonna mask those imperfections pretty well. I just quickly did like a little bit of makeup, like kind of like a smoky eye, and added this thing, and it looks so cool. I love this aesthetic so much. I think this is my favorite haircut ever i mean this is your sign to go and try it yourself because 
YOLO. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so much better. It's definitely not perfect, but I will take this over the cut she had before any day. Do you see the difference? Like this before and after? Like there's the way it was all here and now it's like all distributed evenly. Her hair looks curlier, it looks healthier, it looks so stunning. Let's work on the technique a little for next time. Like can we style it bigger and sexier, more voluminous? Like flip your head upside down, diffuse it, get that volume up here, use the wave tech wave system, ahem. Wave tech wave foam, wave tech wave cream, wave tech shampoo and conditioner, and our wave revival spray. I promise you will be obsessed. I love waves, I love curls, I love it. The wolf cut has done it again. It's given more people in this world beautiful layers. I think everybody needs layers and everybody needs bangs. I'm so for both of those things, like I'm obsessed. Every time I hire a new employee or have a new friend, I'm like, you get bangs. I just love a shaggy haircut. I love a rounded haircut. I think curls look amazing when there's layers there and I'm so happy these girls got cuts that they really love. Check us out on Instagram for hair inspo and you can also check out me on Instagram. Check out all the Xmodo products and all the Xmodo color products at Xmodo hair. It is all linked below as well. If you like to check out more videos, you can do so now. Let's hang out more. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>